we're talking about the scientific evidence that reveals the universe and the earth were designed so that life could exist on earth. And we just looked at a segment that says that the earth has been placed in the exact right place in our solar system in the universe so that life could exist. Now we're going to look at something else that our Earth has been placed in a galaxy with lengthy spiral arms. We have to be in a spiral galaxy. What is a spiral galaxy and what, what, what is the length of one of these spiral galaxies that we're going to be looking at? Well, typically about 100,000 or more light years across. 100,000 light years. I don't want to convert that into miles, but I mean light years across is what we're going to look at. And what is a spiral galaxy? Well, it's these spiral structures that people are familiar with, but what they're probably not familiar with is only 6% of the galaxies in our universe are spiral galaxies. The rest of them are these ellipsoidal or irregular type galaxies. And we'd have to have planet Earth in one of those, so that cuts down on the number of spots where you could find a planet with, Earth, with life right. on it. And that would be a just right kind of spiral galaxy, okay. too. By the way, what is a spiral? Is it a star? Is it a gas? Yeah, these spiral arms are structures of gas, dust, and uh, fairly new form stars. So that's where a lot of the stars in our uh, galaxy exist is along the spiral arms. All right, folks, let's look at the clip. Why is it that any planet that's to have life on it must exist in one of these galaxies with lengthy spiral arms? Let's look at the clip. Our first stop beyond the Milky Way is the Andromeda Galaxy, slightly more than 2 million light years from Earth. That means we're looking at Andromeda as it appeared a little more than two million years ago. Andromeda resembles the Milky Way in structure, but it's about twice as big. Together, our galaxy and Andromeda account for nearly seven-eighths the total mass of the small galaxy cluster in which we reside, a cluster colorfully named the local group. The vast majority of galaxies reside in dense clusters, and these clusters must be ruled out as possible life sites. The gravitational tug of wars among these tightly packed galaxies render them unfit for life. Fortunately, our local group is not a dense cluster. Also, it is located in the extreme outskirts of another cluster the Virgo Cluster, safe from the gravitational wars. On our way to the Virgo Cluster, we pass by several beautiful galaxies. In the South Polar Group, about 8 million light years away, we meet with NGC 300, with its lengthy spiral arms. We can see them extending all the way out from the nucleus. Only 6% of the galaxies in the universe are spirals like our own, and only spiral galaxies can contain planets and stable orbits about their stars. This one design characteristic alone significantly restricts the number of potential sites for life. Just slightly farther along, we see NGC 253, a spiral seen edge-on, the nucleus is unusually small with no central bulge visible. M81, about 11 million light years away, has a huge central bulge and rather thin regular spiral arms. Even the size of a galaxy's bulge must be fine-tuned in order to sustain light. If the bulge is too large, then a planet like Earth will be blasted by deadly radiation. If the bulge is too small, then not enough planet-making gas and dust gets funneled to the zone in the galaxy where life-support planets would need to reside. The stuff that we're watching is just so mind-blowing, you can hardly uh, pull it in. In a moment, we're going to look at a clip that talks about the 10 billion trillion stars in the universe, why they're all necessary or life couldn't exist. But Ken, when you were looking at this thing about the spiral galaxies, what struck you? Well, when you look at this complexity and order, fine-tuning, 
you recognize that uh, all of this is necessary for the emergence of, of human life, uh, you're profoundly moved that uh, God, standing behind all of this, intended this for our very purpose. 